this video, I wanted to share my experience of going with our family to Disney World and dining at Epcot's um, Space 220. Space 220 is a newer restaurant, um, at least in 2022, that we went to and it is a Grand Prix like set menu unless you buy anything that's a la carte. And what I will tell you is that um, it is really, really pricey. And I'm gonna give you our honest review in this video, so stay tuned. This is our boarding pass to space. Space 220, I have no idea what this meme is after besides space. All right, guys, I didn't take a lot of video uh, during our experience, but I'm at least going to show you what I have. So we have like the entryway and then I can kind of show you like what it takes to go dine in space. The idea behind Space 220 is that you go on a ship to outer space and you're taking up this like elevator uh, to outer space and then you are dining in space. And so that is the whole theme and gist of it. There's no characters. There's no like anything too crazy where you're meeting Mickey or Minnie. It's literally just an experience in space. And so it is located at Epcot. So I would recommend doing this on an Epcot day so that you're not having to burn a park ticket when you're not supposed to be in Epcot. Is everyone's first time heading up to space? Yes. yes. Well, I suggest you all hold on very tight. We're gonna be going up to 10,000 miles an hour to the Centauri Space Station today, all right? <laughs> okay. Be sure to look down as well as up, but not at the same time, I hope. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, so then you're led into like this hallway and then led to your table. But in between that, you know, you'll be able to see people that are waiting to go down uh, from the restaurant um, back to Earth. And the hallway is really, really kind of decked out um, in terms of just decoration. Um, you'll see on the left here that there's a bunch of vegetables, like I think it's cabbage, um, that are just rotating. And I think that's real life like um, products that they are uh, basically growing in quote unquote space. And then uh, you'll notice that uh, it continues on. Um, then you'll find uh, that you'll have to wait for your service staff in order to be seated. So then you're led into um, basically the restaurant area and this is literally the view. So you have a view of outer space. You see the arch of the earth. You'll see spaceships. You'll see astronauts in the window every so often. For the kids, they get these little trading cards, which we never actually opened. Um, so they're supposed to be really cool. I don't know what the kids use them for. I told them not to make a mess and just put it in their souvenir basket. But overall, um, this was it. And the service, again, I told you guys, um, it wasn't that great if I'm being honest. And um, I don't think if I had to do it again, uh, would I do it? Probably not. Now hopefully you get lucky and are seated by the window. Um, we weren't, unfortunately, but we were still able to see stuff. So you can see we saw astronauts, we saw the Earth, we saw um, spaceships, so that was fine. Um, and then, as you can see, this is like the menu, okay? This is the menu for Space 220, and there are things that you can buy a la carte, but th at, in the evening, it is $79 per adult, and there are a lots of like, um, different entrees that you get, appetizer, like a salad, and then your meal. Um, but overall, it is pretty expensive. Um, was it worth it? Again, the answer is no, but you can be the judge for yourself. All right, so what my husband got was um, one of the salads, and then after that, he got the uh, Florida Red Snapper, and it had um, potato straws on top of it. So um, I think he said it was okay. It wasn't like out of this world or anything like that. I feel like I'm really negative, so I apologize. Maybe I'll make it more of a happier tone. And then I got uh, the um, short ribs, and they, that was pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. I'll give it a like six out of ten. So um, I won't complain about that. But it also had Brussels sprouts on it, and then the mac and cheese was really mushy. All my kids got mac and cheese. 
Um, most of them ate like a quarter of it. And then after that, uh, we got carrot cake. Carrot cake was delicious. Um, there were no complaints there. Carrot cake, hopefully they can't ever mess up carrot cake, but you know. Then we had um, another, for me at least, we had the pistachio and citrus ice cream and that was delicious as well. Chocolate ice cream, duh! <laughs> Look, Aubrey, you get? I got lemon sorbet. Ooh. Not yet. Okay. Wait, can we eat it? Yeah. No, there's a dark chocolate. What do you I will say that, like, in terms of the service, I didn't think it was that great. I know I'm, like, bashing a lot of people here, but, like, honestly, for as much as we paid, um, I don't think the service was that great because my water was not refilled um, and um, basically it took a while for our uh, waitress um, to basically take our order. So there is that. Um, so just be aware there. But overall, like, I'm glad I had the experience, I guess. I paid for the experience of eating in space and that really was it. Like you got to see out the window. I think that's what you're paying for is seeing the window and then going up and down uh, the elevator. All right, so this is experience going down. Um, you can hear like it's basically going down back to earth. Um, again, this is literally what you're paying for, at least in my eyes. So if you guys want to spend the money, feel free. Um, just re remember that I told you to get the chocolate gelato from the kids menu because it was divine. Other than that, um, I don't think you go there for the food. I think you go there for the elevator ride and that's my review. If you guys like honest uh, reviews like this, go ahead and click on the subscribe button or click the like button to help the algorithm out. Thanks guys. Bye.